Hello everyone, my name is Fox. Uh, this video is actually pretty cool. It's actually Megaton news. This is uh, good news and I love uh, making videos that feature good news. This is going to be talking once again about the Asus ROG Ally, specifically only for the Asus ROG Ally. Because of the 120Hz display that is featured on the Asus ROG Ally, we can do something on there that is called black frame insertion. This helps with motion clarity. What that does is it basically inserts a black frame in between every other frame. So if you see this particular demo of Batman Arkham Knight here that I'm going to be showing you, this is, the panel is running at 120 hertz. Now what I'm showing you here is my camera being tuned to artificially display to you, the viewer, how these black frames are being inserted on the display itself. This is not how it actually looks in person. This is just me tuning the camera so that you can better see it. Another way that we can take a look at this is that if I set my camera to 120 FPS capture, what you can see is this slow black strobing that happens over the screen. This lets you know that BFI is on and uh, it's also more pleasing. Like if you look at it through this 120 FPS capture, it actually presents a more accurate representation of what's happening when desktop BFI is enabled on a game that is working correctly is you get this very smooth scan that's going through. What winds up happening is by doing this, it actually presents itself as something that is very, very CRT-like. So you have this very good motion clarity and it really can't be described and how I'm trying to show you the viewer through YouTube right now is not going to come across as I want you to see it. The only thing I tell you is that this is actually super megaton as the Asus RG Ally is the only handheld with 120 hertz display that's out currently that is able to achieve this result. So again, the link is in the description field below if you wanted to try out desktop BFI. Now, there are some caveats to this that we need to talk about. Um, and before anyone gets any uh, wild thoughts, this is not PWM. When I am doing this, I am running the, the backlight at 100% brightness. As a result, when you do BFI, BFI as a natural consequence, a side effect of BFI is that it reduces the brightness of the panel because you're inserting a black frame, you are actually limiting the light throughput. So even though we are at 100% brightness, this is not PWM. 100% uh, brightness PWM would be off anyway. There would be no pulse width modulation on the backlight. The only reason that I mention this is for people that are concerned about getting headaches or something from uh, pulse width modulation, which some people are susceptible to. So I just want to mention that this isn't the case. You're actually going to not be affected by that. I would also say that you do need to run at 100% brightness, but thankfully, because the panel is so bright on the Asus RG Ally, it does compensate for BFI uh, considerably, and the overall picture result isn't very dim when you enable BFI, which is super awesome. So that's also really good news. Now onto the caveats. This doesn't work on every game. Like I had mentioned in my previous review on the Asus RG Ally, when I tried showing off desktop BFI, I had mentioned that there was flickering present and I only showed it on the desktop. However, I also tested it on a game and in that game, uh, the game that I tested was Dead Cells, it also presented flickering there. So I kind of just tested in two different places and stopped testing and just kind of assumed that was the case. Because Cypher also tested on his Asus RG Ally on other games and said that it was working, I'm looking at it again and can confirm that it does work. So the caveats here is that it will not work for every game. It may be possible that some games are going to be uh, working well. Some games that don't support it might be able to be tweaked into a, a manner that could support it. But generally speaking, don't expect 100% compatibility with this. The other caveat from this is that periodically while having desktop BFI enabled, there are weird instances where we get that flicker, like one-off flicker that happens, and it can be a little bit jarring uh, to see, but it is periodic, and I would still recommend that you just try out desktop BFI because it is pretty much the only... The Asus RG Ally is the only handle that is capable of doing this today, and it is something that you should witness in real life because my video demonstration showing you isn't going to be enough. Uh, like, I can't properly show you how awesome it is through all of these layers of you actually viewing this. I would very much recommend that you try this. It is super huge and you should do it. Uh, so that's it for uh, this video. It's really good news. I'm glad to kind of talk about it. I hope this was informative. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.